Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is probably here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about changing the default USB configuration on the bottom of your Samsung device. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is that every time you plug in your Samsung phone into your laptop or computer, we will be changing the job of the USB on the bottom. So again, what I mean by that even more extensively is when you plug in your Samsung phone to a computer, originally what it does is it will do a USB charging. Now, if you're plugging your Samsung phone into a computer or laptop, more than likely you're just trying to move over content, maybe pictures or music or anything else. So in order for you to do that function, you would have to tap on the very top where it says USB charging. You'll tap that one more time. And then you finally do transfer files. And then now your computer will read your smartphone. So then this way you'd be able to go into the phone, open it up, head over into your DCIM. And this is where all your pictures are. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy, device don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for future videos and don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out the entire playlist i've made so far for the samsung galaxy s10 series now originally when you first plug it in as you saw it did the usb charging which is something very slow so to change this because maybe every time you plug it to a computer you want to transfer files you want to pull down the notifications panel click on the settings icon Go to the very bottom where it says about phone, and this is where you would like to unlock the developer options. So go inside of your software information, look for it where it says build number, tap this seven times, and then now you will be unlocking developer options. If it asks you for your pin, just put in your security code. Once the code is tapped in, then you'll be able to go right on back just a couple pages, and now you'll see developer options. So inside of here, you can just keep this one on. You don't need to toggle this off anymore. And you know what? I'm gonna show you one more thing as we are in here. So as you scroll on down, you're gonna notice where it talks about all the different transition uh, scales, animation scales, and things like that. Just put this one over into 0.5 for all three of these. So then this way you'll go to screen to screen super fast. This is one of the first things I do when I get my phone. Um, but other than that, for the main purpose of this video, scroll on down until where you see USB default configuration. So once you see that, it says right here, default USB configuration, and it might not be checked as charging phone only. Uh, it might actually have almost none of these checked, but if you were to tap in that little transferring files, so now what's gonna happen is every time that you plug in your phone into a laptop or a computer, it will ask you this right here, if it can allow uh, access of phone data. Once you hit on allow, you head over to your computer and then there you go right there. So where this comes in handy is that if you're always somebody transferring files to a computer, you can always do it in one step quite a bit quicker. Also, let's say that your phone screen is dead. You can't see anything, but you can still kind of tap on the screen. So the nice thing about it is that if you break your phone's display, it's still able to be uh, reactive of your finger touches. All you'd have to remember is that if you plug in your phone from here on after, touch on the very bottom right above your back arrow or whatever you had right here. If you tap there, now you're able to transfer everything without having to go through the top and changing this. And that's gonna be almost impossible to do if your screen doesn't work. So now what's gonna happen if you plug in your phone uh, and you're charging your device with a normal cable. So it does not affect it at all. All it's doing is it's changing the default USB configuration when you plug it into a computer or laptop. This right here is plugged into Samsung's normal fast charge block. And so this is regular charging. And if I was to show you right over here, it says fast charging. So you're not changing the speed of charge. You're not changing what happens when you plug it into a wall. You're only changing the default USB configuration, meaning if you plugged it into a USB device, AKA your laptop or computer, it's already set up for USB for transfer, you hit okay. And now you are able to transfer everything from the phone to the computer. So I hope that this has made sense. Um, there's gonna be a lot of reasons why this will help. One of the reasons is number one, you transfer a lot of content from your phone to your computer. You're able to do it in a much faster process. The other way is if your phone breaks, but your touch LCD area is still able to respond with a fingerprint touch or a finger touch just basically unlock your phone hopefully you have 
um, really any credentials, maybe your facial unlock. But really, once you hit on OK right over here, you are now connected to a computer to transfer all your stuff to also get a brand new phone if you don't have everything backed up. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side, this little circle on the bottom. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about all my playlists and you can check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy S10.